Everyone, hey, geeks, we are back. Majin Vegeta playing Final Fantasy X for Throwback Thursday. We made it all the way through the comp lands. The reason that is not recorded is it's 90% fights all, all the way across the whole field. And the field is absolutely massive. It's where summoners used to take sin so they could fight them without killing people. So there's no life literally anywhere. Like... Yeah, there's just a giant place, like a, they have a giant crevice, just called the Scar, where there's just a huge gap. They created a giant rivet in the earth, they basically created the Grand Canyon, due to a battle with Sin. Um, highlights of the Comlands are basically that, once you run up the hill, if you get a chocobo, run directly to your... Press X at that chocobo feather, and you can go to the Remian Temple where you can fight the summoner Belgamine and you beat her with all the Aeons once you get the two hidden Aeons you can get another hidden Aeon the Mage's Sisters um, if you run to the main center area there will be a couple cut, cut scenes and you figure out that Lulu has guarded three different summoners. Father Zook will be the one who approaches you. He quit just because he didn't want to finish all this. And then Yuna is the third. They have no backstory officially on the first one for summoner that Lulu guarded. And then if you go all the way to the right, right before you head up to the far right where you end up here, where there will be a boss fight over there, um, you have a battle arena where you get capture equipped and you can instead of killing fiends you capture them send them there if you capture the whole area say the, you capture all nine monsters in the calm lands then you get to fight a hidden boss who gives really cool gear but is like insanely difficult so but you get to keep everything you get from the fight so and it's free the first time so I'd recommend getting capture equipment on your physical party members, aka Titus, your Kamari, Waka, and Orn. Magic you cannot capture with this has to be all physical attacks, so focus on that primarily. You'll be absolutely fine. Without further ado, I'm gonna go in with a weaker party against this boss. Cause I know Yuna and Orn, I can beat the crap out of the rest of this boss. You run across and then all of a sudden everything's shaking. Morguato. Summons from Lord Seymour. Come with us. Yeah, somehow he's still not dead. We have nothing to discuss with Maester Seymour. Killed him twice. Just won't die. He refuses. Yeah, so out of our way. Lord Seymour's commands must be obeyed. You will come. I will. Make me. The Maester doesn't need you alive. Okay. Bring it. That's what you're fighting. This bumbling oaf with ridiculous physical strength and physical defense. Yeah, you don't have to fight the Guado, thankfully, and they just walk on their merry way, but it's just this giant block of crap. Basically an earth golem. So. You see, 190 is all Riku does for the hit. Um, he's lancet on it just cause. Yeah, no abilities there. Riku got her turn in. I'm curious to see if it's immune. I feel like it would be. No, it is not immune. However, Blast Punch does not miss and it basically takes off 50% of your health per hit. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you can go all out with this fight. The next boss fight is a, a one character only boss fight, so you're not really worried about too much. Oh, 
all the fun. Because every boss fight, basically from the Comlands moving forward, is incredibly powerful. Okay, he's immune to that. That's nice to know. Armor break would probably be the next way to go then. If you heard about your whole party going down at once, keep um, a redo at the ready and just outbid potion the crap out of it. Immune to sleep makes sense. Yeah, see, occasionally the Dark Cluster will pay off. It's just like getting to that point where it does pay off. It's not immune to that. Should have started with that. <laughs> Still got armor break and darkness on it. Forgot walk a new drain. You can see now all of a sudden it's 4,500 per. Haymaker is no joke. That one, regardless of how much HP your characters have, you're gonna start having characters drop. So, be ready for that. Get Lulu's turn in so we can start getting ready for the next portion of the fight. Because magic is still super strong on this thing. Bringing out the Aeons a little early, just good. I'm just gonna go straight to overdrive. There's no point in messing around with anything else of this fight. Now he's still standing, but we'll fix that. All right, he's gonna knock me out right now. Oh, somehow still standing. There he goes. Thank you. Have a nice day. And just like, ooh, level two keys for what a guy, what a gentleman. He's taken care of. If you head off to the right, there'll be a different cutscene, but for the sake of the story, we're gonna go forward. Oh, okay, it makes you go that way first. This isn't the way in. That Gotta way head up. leads down into the valley. How do you know that, Lulu? Oh, you know your way around, yeah? Huh? Not even a response. Don't go that way. Uh, don't go that way yet. There's a whole different set of scenes for that. Run forward. Oh, wrong way. Wrong one. Round two. Right there. Boom. Run up to Mount Gagazet, home of the Ronso. And 
And now he finally notices that Yuna stands behind the closer she gets to getting the final summoning. She's saying goodbye to where she's Sometimes been. Yuna would just stare off into the distance. I finally understood why. She was saying goodbye to the places she'd never see again. You summon the final Aeon, it kills the summoner. Yep, Mount Gagazet. Xanarkand is literally around the corner. However, Mount Gagazet is massive. And the fiends here are no joke. There's no fiends at this particular junction, because this part is the inhabited part of Mount Gagazet of Kamari's homeland. Here's the cutscene. Summoner Yuna and Guardians, leave here at once. Grand... Well, Maester Kelk, not Grand Maester. He left Gagazet the Order of Yevon. Ronso land, sacred mountain of Yevon. The mountain will not bear the footsteps of infidels. Enemy of Yevon? Is enemy of they are deeply religious, surprisingly. Traitors. I have cast aside Yevon. I, I follow the temple no more. Then you will die by those words. So be it. Yevon has warped the teachings and betrayed us all. Nothing but a bunch of low-down tricksters, eh? Coming from Walker, yeah, it's saying yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Not really contributing to conversation there. We have no regrets. Last fevers. In one step, <laughs> Kamari is right a in front of the biggest guy. And her guardians. Lord Kelgronso, if I may, have you not also turned your back on Bavel? But still, you guard Gagazet as a Ronso, not a Maester. Yuna is much nice. the same. There's the two wise people in the party talking. Elder Kelk, let Biran rend them asunder. <laughs> no escape, not one. Yenke is like the no, dumb cousin. We will not flee. <laughs> Spouts off for no reason. We will fight and continue on. You have been branded a traitor, but still you would fight sin. Lost to the temple, hated by the people, yet you continue your pilgrimage. Everything lost. What do you fight for? I fight for Spira. The people long for the calm. I can give it to them. It's all I can give. Defeating sin, ending pain. This I can do. So willing to give her life up for everyone. After every even sacrificing yourself. Ronzo, let them pass. Summon a Yuna. Your will is stronger than steel. Tempered steel that even the mightiest Ronso could not hope to bend. Yuna, we bow to your will. Now go! The sacred heights of Gagazet welcome you. It's a mountain. It's gonna welcome whoever walks on it. We thank you. Just saying. But here's the thing, you can talk to everybody, um, I believe the female Ronso here, she offers you weapons, if you run past Maester Kelk, you will have a fight with 
Kamari versus Biron and Yankee. It's a 1v2 fight. They're still upset with him over how things transpired. So, with that, we're going to conclude. We'll come back with that video. Smaller snippets all put together because literally 90% of here till Xanarkand is just fighting, 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 and more fighting. And the fight music we have own oh, no property over, so I have to throw in a whole bunch of stuff with the videos to make sure it is okay for to be posted as we do not own the rights for obvious reasons but yep good evening ladies and gentlemen boys and girls of all ages of grown a geeks which should just be 18 and older because it's grown a geeks Majin Vegeta Brent here playing Final Fantasy 10 we are on Mount Gagazet for our throwback Thursday video we have seen the cutscenes where the Ronso Maester Kalk Ronso Proved you to go up the mountain. However, Biron and Yanke, the two meatheads who have not let us without pissing off Kamari, have sulked off. In the previous video, I said you could buy weapons from her. You buy it from him. She's a badass too, but he sells weapons and they're actually very good and very customizable, so I'd recommend saving some gill. Just for reference, that's how much I have even after purchasing their weapons. Helps when you don't play Blitzball a lot. Um, get those weapons. Get Kamari at least close to an overdrive. Because he's going to learn a whole bunch in this next fight. Because he's going to be using Lancet a lot on his next fight. Because he'll be fighting Biron and Yenke. And then talk to this guy. Talk to him. Okay, started fighting 10 years ago. Everyone fights to show off how strong they are. Biron beat Kamari. Kamari didn't want to admit losing. Biron broke Kamari's horn. Shameful left mountain. What they don't say after that is Kamari and going down the mountain ran into her. Or, yeah, ran into her and then took her to... Well, ran to her near Bavel took her to Besaid. So yeah, everything just happened to work out. So here's the moment we're looking for. Hey. Slow walk up. Ugh, haven't you bothered us enough? That's what I'm saying. Summoner may pass. Guardians may pass. Kimari not pass! Kimari shame, Ronso brothers! Kimari forget his birth! Forget his people! Forget his mountain! Little Ronso! Weakling Ronso! Mountain hate the weak! Hate the small! If you will climb... Then I must prove my strength! Think you will win? Apparently. You not forget who took your horn. Never forget. But you can remember to kind of see why Kamari, you know, win. horn got broken. Biron's the biggest win, mofo on that mountain. Why you? Ugh. This some kind of Ronso thing? Kimari problem. So what you want to do, Biron is the hardless, hardless. huge BA on this mountain. Basically undefeated. However, Yankee is literally just a punk. You see the health difference he's got over 11,000, he's only got 8. So what you're going to want to do... Beat the crap out of Yankee. Because yeah, he does bulldoze, which is a good amount of damage. Get thrust kick from him, which is nice. Now he's 
is almost dead. We Kronso should know their play and that is the move you want from him, White Wind. It's basically auto regen. Restore your HP right there. First kick you. And he's out of here. And now Biron's pissed. What I'd recommend doing is using a remedy on him. Because then all he'll do is keep trying to berserk himself. <laughs> I didn't get Doom out of you. Let's kick you again. Because his damage goes way up when he's Berserk. Like, way up there. And since Kamara doesn't know any other healing abilities other than White Wind, it can get really problematic. Because you spend like 99% of your battle just healing him back up. Which is also why I took him through Waka's sphere, so he could learn Drain. I steal HP from him, heal myself. It's not that much though, so I don't get too excited. Keep trying in case I miss something. Because at different stages of the fight, you can learn different abilities, so always keep that in mind. I wonder if Dark Buster works. I doubt it. Yeah. Because all he does is physical. If all he did was miss, it'd be kind of... lame. Another 1800. He's gonna bulldoze the crap out of me. This fight, you, as long as you have like X potions or high potions, you should be good. But I promise nothing, so. I'm gonna use a Mega Potion just because it's 2000. It has to be on the safe side. Now he's only got 200 HP left. We're gonna finish this off. You win. Yenke is still just laying there. Not a lot of AP really. Three return series though is really nice. Sorcerer Armlet and Halberd are good items as well. Strong is Kimari. Biran is happy. All they ever wanted for Kamara was him to be strong. Sacred Mount Gagazet. They really love this damn mountain. I honor the name of strong warrior who defeats Biron. Who has not missed a day at the gym in his Remember life. Remember always, Gagazet. That name is Kimari. Mountain knows Kimari strong. Kimari may pass. Summoner! We, Ronso, will stop pursuers from temple. Truly? Penance for breaking Kimari's horn long ago. And you find out that they're really just good guys. We crush enemies following behind. Kimari crush enemies standing before. You are most fortunate summoner. I thank you. The first Ronso Guardian. Will shine your statue brightest. They're very deeply religious. Thank you. But I fear that no one will make a statue for a traitor such as I am. Then Ronso will make. You can see how deeply passionate they care about everybody. On head. That would be wonderful. 
It's their most sacred gesture they can offer you. So, yeah. I wanted to see Yuna's statue too, but I wanted to see it with Yuna by my side. See? Another Santa Mana moment. Um, just so I don't have to do that again. I'm gonna say real quick lack. Notice you cannot play Blitzball once you reach Gagazet. You can't play Blitzball until after you go see Xanarkand. You have to run down to the calm lands if you want to keep doing that. But while that's saved, we're gonna head on up and there's gonna be another cutscene once you get up the hill. The Gagazet Ronso will honor you once more. A little bit forward, right about there. Summoner Yuna! What is it this time? That was kind of rude after all the nice things they just said. And they sing you the song of the faith. And now there's more. The Ronso Choir, boys and girls. As far as I know, no other summoner gets this treatment. Like, period. Alright, and this is where I'm going to leave you because the next trail is entirely battle after battle after battle after battle until you reach the top. When you get to the save sphere, way far away from here, be sure to save and have your party ready for another boss fight. That one is one of the trickiest. So. Thank you for checking out Throwback Thursday. Majin Vegeta presents Final Fantasy X. Be sure to like, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you, folks. Grone Geek, Majin Vegeta here. Finally, at the top of Mount Gagazet, we are preparing for the toughest non-optional boss fight in the game, in my personal opinion. I'm coming out with my speed party of Yuna, Titus, which is named Vegeta for me, and Waka. Um, this boss has perfect combos and is a giant, giant pain. So if I die, you're welcome. You finally get to see that. I changed some of the party equipment. Yuna's got magic up the wazoo as well as more HP. Um, the boss will banish your Aeon, so you get one turn, so come lives. Good shields, I got the first strike so I can't get ambushed. And then basically every other party member, whatever their best items are, always have that ready to go. Um, zombie ward for Orin, huge plus, because anything anti-zombie at this point, just equip the crap out of it and have at it. This boss fight sucks. Um, not even gonna mess with these guys. I'll have to edit out that music later on. I ain't got time for that. Let's head on up. Um, no bus, no battle here. You just head right up, up over to about this point and cutscene. Xanarkand is on the other side, you know. I know. Uni is gonna get the final Aeon, you know. I know. I uh, still haven't thought of anything. Me neither. What are we gonna do? Hope you find the answers looking for in Xanarkin. Let's do something. 
We just don't know enough yet. Until we do, we really can't help Yuna. Let's go to Xanarkand. We'll find something there. It'll all come together. I know it. Hey. Hmm? Just now, you sounded like a leader, you know? I grew up so fast. Star of the Xanarkand Abes. Didn't anyone tell you? Aha! And here we go. Here's the moment we're waiting for. Huh? She's like, what the hell? And there this douchebag is again. Uh, Blue-haired motherfucker. The son of Jack. Yeah, he knows your secret now. Run ahead and tell Oren. You are not fighting him alone. Thank God we're not. Just go, go. <laughs> Seymour's even darker now. Die. Prepare yourself, son of Jack. Not if I can help it. Save some for Kimari. Remember how the Ronsla said they were gonna protect you? <laughs> Lady Yuna, it is a pleasure. He's unfazed by anything. Ascending so soon? Allow me to say something to the last Ronso before. Last me. Ronso. <laughs> <laughs> Yours was truly a gallant race. But that Seymour massacred they themselves at me to bar my path. One after another. And he kept killing all the Ronso that gave their life. <laughs> all of them. No. Kimari. You could end the suffering of this poor Ronso. I don't understand you. Nobody does. Allow Kimari to die and release him from his pain. Spira. Is a land of suffering and sorrow caught in a spiral of death. To destroy, to heal, Spira, I will become sin. Yes, with your help. Come with me, Yuna. Nobody wants anything Once to do with that plan. I have become the next sin, your father will be freed again. He just kind of let out that secret that no one's now, really saying anything. You know? <sighs> Love how they gloss that over, but this... Yeah, he's got Pitiful that thing. Mortal. Your hope ends here! It really does. I hate this fight so much. With every fiber of my being. And your meaningless insistence with it! I almost didn't want to do the playthrough just because of this fight. Uh, start off... First thing, hey Stega, waste no time. Um, throw an A on out there, just pick one. Save Bahamut for the end because he's he can do the HP limit break as well as um, Valifor. And you're gonna need that. This guy has 70,000 HP. 70,000, not, not just a little bit. 70 motherfucking thousand. And he'll banish your Aeon first chance he gets, so. Like I said earlier, Thor's hammer, the crap out of this guy. If you hit his um, little suit thingy, it'll heal him, so be careful with that. You can damage the crap out of him, and poisoning Seymour is also a good way to go. Holy and Flare is also a good way to go, magic wise. He had 99, 99, takes 4,000, and then 3,000, so on and so forth. Because what Seymour will do this entire freaking fight is cast a zombie on you, and then the Mort Absorption will basically uh, use full life on you, which will kill you. So, hooray! I may just honestly go a full these three party members and leave it at that. You can silence Seymour, which will help him from casting Flare or Reflect on you, but his special ability you can't do shit about. You just, you take it. It is what it is. 
I kind of wish you could skip most of these aim beginnings because they take up a good chunk of the video, but oh well. Diamond dust. Do not fuck with Shiva. Another 99.99. See now it goes 3,000. I go to 2,000, and then another thousand. So careful with that. The reason I have first strike on Tidus is more often than not he'll at least get another turn automatically off the gate. Something. Um, he's already halfway down. That's kind of annoying. Let's do spiral cut for what it's worth. Oh, 6300, and that's not bad. Yeah, auto attack mode is when this battle turns from eh to holy crap, why the hell did I do this? Oh, uh, come on. Oh, I got it. Thank God. It's the first time I've ever done that <laughs> on a video. You get attack real from playing some level of football, because then he just goes ham and does that. Oh wow, that almost killed him. Oh, 17,000? This is over. I may actually get this. First recording, no issues, sound check was good. Because I'm not going back and doing this. There's no way. This is the most annoying fight in the whole damn game. And if you get an overkill, odds are he'll give you level 4 key spheres, at least two of them. Usually, it usually doubles the amount. So, hopefully Mega Player gets at least 20,000, and then we can call this a day. Because they're going through all the animations like this is the final kill. Because they're doing all the different angles and stuff, so hopefully we did it. I do not want to do this at all, again. I'll keep saying that. Overkill. Yep, that's a day. Only these three characters too, and I never took hit. Maybe I trained way too much for this fight. But yeah, now if you run down the mountain, there's like three or four Ronso as opposed to the 10 to 15 that there were before. He massacred and stay up there. Everybody and everything. Two level 4 key spheres. Thank God. Come on, you know. We got things to you do. You will become sin with my help. Lies. Forget them. <laughs> or immediately. Sin, Jack will be saved. That's not important right now. We're leaving. Oh. You know something. Whole conversation. Tell me. <laughs> Orin's a shitty liar. Tell me. No, no, no! Don't do it! No, no! Sins. Yep. My old man. You hit your head. <laughs> Everyone else is sin like that. Is my what the old hell? Man. My old man became Sin. I don't know how or why he did it. I felt him inside. And when that I did, weird. I knew it was true. Phrasing. My old man's spirit is suffering. Sorry. Even knowing that Sin is your father. Still, you know I must. This is the way. I know. Let's get him. I think my old man would want that. You'd fight your own father? Damn right, he yeah, hates him. No problem there. Uh, about your old man. 
You sure this ain't some kind of bad toxin dream or something? Orin wouldn't have said anything. Just could avoid this whole conversation. Chapu. Yep. Uh, Killed by your dad. I, uh, I think I'll just pretend I didn't hear nothing. Must be nice. I'm getting a little confused, yeah? Why, why'd all this have to happen? I don't know. We'll learn when we arrive. Soon. <laughs> Leave it to Orin. And there's a cutscene right after this, so we're gonna go over there and... After I save... I don't know how to do this again. That battle is a doozy. There's no nice way of saying it. If you are not ready, he will mess your life up. And then I kind of prepared for it, so... That, that happens. Kinda creepy. I don't know how we missed that on the way in. What? What are those? Those are faith. What you use to get, you know, your aeons faith. A summoning. Someone is using these faith. Someone all of them. Is drawing energy from all of them. This many? Who wields power on this scale? And what could they be calling? Hey, you know something, don't you? Always Spill all right. the beans. Look not to others for knowledge. This is your journey too. Immediately avoided it like a champion. Die, you know? Said Yo, that a thousand times. Aaron's right. Huh? No this spoilers. Is our This is my story. Selfish. Whoa. Yeah, you touch it and then all of a sudden you fall down. A lot of this is going to be guessing from me from here on out because I didn't really... Uh... That boss fight alone made me not want to play this game so many times. I can't say it enough. Although it's probably very annoying by now. Shit, and all of a sudden you're hey. back in Xanarkin. And you have what looks like fireflies flying around you and everything. And there's no treasure chest or anything here, so just run over here to your house. Go right inside. Yep, this is your apartment thing. Your boat? I don't know. I'm not really sure how you're bringing people over with the lack of accommodations. But there's that kid again who showed up in the beginning of the game. You remember me? We met in Bavel. Yep. Uh, yeah. Bavel. But that wasn't the first time we met. I've known about you for a long time. A long, long time. That's Bahamut's fate. I, I feel like I know you too. Things are about to get more complicated. <laughs> Silly, don't recognize your own home? And he just teleports away, but look at all your trophies. You did pretty well for yourself. What's gotten into you, hey? They're trying to wake you up. Wake up! Notice Orn or Lulu don't say anything. Wait, this is a dream. There you go. Precisely. A dream? Are you crazy? I don't have time to be dreaming now. You're wrong. Hmm? It's not that you're dreaming. You are a dream. Y'all. Huh? Wait a sec. Obviously, you chase him because you're like, all he said was, hey. I thought I was a human being this whole time. You can see him up there. Go get him. Press X on him. 
long ago, there was a war. Yeah, with Machina, right? Yes, a war between Xanarkand and Bavel. Two biggest cities in Spira. Bavel's Machina assured their victory from the start. Spira had never seen such power. The summoners of Xanarkand didn't stand a chance. Xanarkand was doomed to oblivion. That's why we tried to save it, if only in a memory. What did you do? The remaining summoners and the townspeople that survived the war, they all became Faith, Faith for the Summoning. The Summoning. The summoning. You mean Sin? No, I mean this place. A Xanarkand that never sleeps. Oh, what? The dreams of the Faith summoned the memories of the city. Trippy. They summoned all the buildings, all the people who lived there. Crazy summoning power. What? They're all dreams? Me? Too? Yup. You're nothing but a dream. Yes, you're a dream of the Faith. You, your father, your mother, everyone. All dreams. Way to see a and movie ending. Stop dreaming. He literally just told everyone to stop dreaming for like a couple seconds and then look what happens. Look how crappy everything looks. Yeah, you're so home. what if I'm a dream? I... You aren't even a real person. I like being here. We've been dreaming so long. We're tired. A thousand years of dreaming. Would On this level. and your father... Would you let us rest? Both you and your father have been touched by Sin. Sin, the one around whom all Spira, the Spiral, revolves. What are, what are you saying? You two are more than just dreams now. Yeah, they dream so Wake hard. Up. Wake up, please. You kind of become part of the reality. Just a little more, and maybe... Maybe you are the dream that will end our dream. Yeah, they dream you up, so you can save them. Weird, right? They gave you the power, but you have to wield that power. Are you alright? <laughs> Walker's all freaked out. Oh, phew. Hey! Kamari's still standing so there like whatever. You. you okay? I'm sure. I'm okay. If your whole existence We're is invalidated. Happened. Nothing. I blacked out. I was dreaming. And you learned how to lie like Orin now. You Good called me. You. And I woke up. And you spun that... it like it's a romantic thing. Uh, uh. Nothing like a good nap. Well, I'm ready. Let's go. Alright, this is where I'm going to leave you. Because there's basically a cave up ahead that's got three different trials you have to beat in order to get to the other side now at the cave to where Xanarkin is and there'll be a boss fight waiting there so we'll be picking up right there this is Majin Vegeta playing Final Fantasy X for Throwback Thursday be sure to like subscribe and let me know how you like the gameplay so far peace